بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين Welcome all This is your trainer, engineer Akram Suleiman I hope you are doing well and safe We will learn Microsoft Word through a series of practical exercises where in each exercise we have a set of tasks that are required to be performed I will show you step by step how to perform each task for each exercise. Each exercise will be recorded as a video and it will be published to your trainer YouTube channel so that you can refer to it on the future for review. Also in the video description I will put a homework for you so that you can practice what you have learned in the exercise. So this is the efficient way to learn Microsoft Word. This is the introduction video. We will have a general overview about this awesome application. And of course, this is the icon for this application, as we will see. So by the end of this introduction video and workshop, you will be able to do some basic tasks such as defining Microsoft Word application, then to list the versions of Microsoft Word application, then to run the application using different ways. identify and work with the user interface of the application then we will learn how to save documents and what are the different save options open and close documents and last how to exit the application now before we go to the Microsoft Word itself as you are familiar Microsoft, they have a very famous office suite of applications. These include Word, of course, plus other applications such as Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Outlook, OneNote, and many others. And as you can see, Word is part of this suite. This is the icon of the application. So, if you want to get the Microsoft Word, you have to get through Microsoft Office Suite. What is Microsoft Word? It is a word processing software application, and it is developed by Microsoft. Initially, it was released on October 25th, 1983. So, it's a quite old application and it has enhanced over these times and it is very famous and feature rich word processing application it is high, highly used by the employees and the students worldwide it is very famous application so when you learn how to use this word uh, application this is will be a, an added value for yourself because for sure you will use this in your future job it can run in Windows PC or Mac computer also in the mobiles uh, computers such as iOS and Android smartphone and tablets you can create different type of document using this uh, application such as personal and business letters technical reports homeworks and assignments you can even create magazines and books so there are many different type of document you can create using this awesome tool now the different versions of this Microsoft Word application of course the old one it was called Word 97 then we have another version Word 2000 10 then we have 2013 
2016 and of course the latest and the greatest is 2019 now it is highly recommend to use uh, either 2016 or 2019 it's okay you can use 2013 but definitely i don't i don't recommend use the older version so try to get one of these i prefer 2016 and 2019 Okay, now. now we will go to the demonstration and to show you how to start the application and how to work with the documents. See you there in the demonstration. Okay, gentlemen, welcome to the demonstration part. So the first thing we have to learn is how to run this application. Actually, there are different ways to run the application. If you have the icon of that application in the taskbar like what i have here as you can see this is the icon for the world simply you can click that icon and the board will start or if you have a shortcut on your desktop like this one again you can double click this time and it will start but let us assume you don't have a shortcut in the taskbar or you're in, in or in your desktop in that case you have another two options either you come to the search box of taskbar click that one and you start writing word the operating system it will search for that one and it will show you the list here so simply now if i click this it will run the application there is another way if you go to the start menu you click that button and then you will have the list of all applications in, installed in your computer so if I scroll down to the W letter, because the word start with the W uh, letter, here you will find the list of all applications that start with the W. Of course, Word is one of them. So you can click that one and it will start. So either way, you will be able to start and run the application. So since I have an icon in the taskbar, I will click that and I wait till the application run. Now when you first run the application, it gives you different option. If you want to start a new blank document, you can click here or Microsoft, they provide you what they refer to it as a templates. These templates and uh, are al already populated with some images some text text so you can start filling your uh, information in these uh, documents and you will finish working with your document very fast but most of the time we will use the blank document so we can start from scratch also here it shows you the list of applica uh, documents that you in, you work with them in the previous but now if you want to start a new document simply you click the blank document so when you click that one the word application start as you can see here we have the cursor and the current uh, name of the document automatically it call it document one of course after you type your text when you want to save you will give a name for your file so now you can start typing whatever you want so I will type just a few words. This is a sample document. Now, let us assume you finish typing your documents and the text you want. Now it is the time to save. And this is a very important task. You should know how to save the document properly. So in that case, I will go to the file tab then from here i have two options for saving save and save as because this is the first time i am saving this document i have to choose save as because save as will give you the option to give a name plus the location where you want to save so simply you click the save as and from here you have different places you can choose the place that you want to save save your document but normally if when you click the browse it will open you this dialog box and from here you can choose the location where you want to save your file 
So for example, I want to save it in my document folder. So I could click here, the document folder. Then I can come here and I can give it a name. So let me give it here, test. So now I am ready to click this button save. So when I click the button save here, it will save that document with this name and in this location documents. You get the point. Now, sometimes you are asked to save this uh, document, not in the Word, but for example, in the PDF file format. In that case, you come to this menu, save as type, and you click that one. And from here, you have different formats. You can save your documents. For example, like PDF, this is a very, very famous uh, document format in the companies. But if you want to keep the document in the Word format, you just keep the first one here, Word document, and the extension is DOCX. In, so now I am ready to save my document. Simply click Save. Now, as you can see, the name here changed. Now it is uh, written here, Test. This is the new name of the document. And it is saved in my Documents uh, folder. So if I go to my Documents folder, I click here if I go to the documents as you can see this is my file now from now on when I uh, write anything okay this is a second line for example now you don't need to go to save as option simply from time to time, you just click this button to make sure you save your changes so that if something happened to your computer, if electricity goes off or your computer damage or something happened, at least you have uh, the copy of your document. So now simply I click save and it will save the changes in the uh, file. Now, in Microsoft Word, we have this is what we call the user interface this we call it this one we have this is the uh, we call it the ribbon and the ribbon we have many different tabs for example most of the time we are in the home tab uh, but sometimes you may need to go to other tabs such as insert you click the insert you will have another commands here and icons you can go to this design tab layout ta tab references mailing review view and many other help so it depends on what you want to do you choose the proper tab most of the time you will be on the home tab in the tab in the home tab we have different here uh, icons for different uh, op uh, options for example here we have a group it's called font so most of these commands related to the font if i want to change the size of the font if you want to change that color from here so and this, inshallah, we will learn more about it while we are doing the exercises. So it's now the time when you finish uh, your document, it's time to close it. You can close the document, of course, after you make sure that you save it. Okay. Now, simply you go to the file tab and from here you can choose close. Now you are closing the document, but you didn't close the application. You see, still the Word application is running. So it gives you another chance if you want to start a new document or if you want to open an existing document. Okay, so for example, if I want to open a document or create a new one, simply now I can go to the File tab and from here I can click New. Again, you can choose Blank Document or if you want, you can click Open and you can choose the document that you want to open and work with it. So this is a brief description and introduction about the word. I hope uh, all of you have this word application in your computer. Please make sure that your computer has the word application is installed. As I said, try to use Word 2016 or 2019 so that you can start and you will be able to work the exercises as we will see inshallah in the coming videos.
for time being thank you so much hopefully this was very useful for you